Hi guys, um, as what you can see here, I'm building a battery pack for my e-bike. Um, it's a 3000 watts motor, up to 72 volts. I got it from Luna Cycle. It's, a, it's the mid-drive kit that they have. Um, as you can see here, I have my batteries group or organized already uh, by their capacity. Um, how I did it, I'll just show you in a couple of minutes. Um, these are old batteries from laptops. Uh, how to check if the batteries are still usable I will just put a link on the video you can click on it uh, it's like how to how to dismantle a battery pack from a laptop and then checking uh, which one is still good and which one is not okay so um, in order to organize your battery you have to do you have to or you have to start from the highest capacity battery until to the lowest one and then what what you do next is let's say for example this is your biggest uh, capacity oh, just start in there okay this is just a big just an example okay let's say that you have a bunch of batteries and then this is the, the biggest one that you have biggest capacity you have and this is the smallest one you have so in order to um, organize a battery that is almost the same um, same capacity in groups, what you do is you start from the biggest capacity and then take the smallest one that you have and that's it. Then do the same thing until you can make a pack that you are requiring. In my case, I wanted a 16S battery pack, so it's 64 volts. So I have 16 of these battery packs organized. Okay, um, it's not gonna be perfect, but that I'm sure of. I'm trying to get a 27,500 capacity, uh, based on how many batteries I have and how much the capacity for each. Now um, the easiest way. The easiest way you could do this is by once you have grouped all those batteries together, like you have sixteen, you have I have sixteen battery packs here. Okay, so what I did is I added all the capacity each pack. You can see there I have twenty six zero ninety seven here, twenty three one hundred three here, twenty six three eighty four thirty two five six five. Um, you might be wondering why is that big? Um, I already made a couple of uh, changes here already so just let me give you how I did it okay once you once you have um, to call this um, have already listed down the capacity of each pack what you do need what you need to do next is add them all up use a calculator add them all up okay and then once you get the whole capacity divided by 16 that way you'll know the average that will be your basis for creating your individual battery packs so in this case i've from all of this i've got twenty seven thousand five hundred so i need to catch the twenty seven thousand five hundred capacity of each pack so that they will be almost the same all right so um how did i charge this uh I use a um, IMAX B6 and also a BT, I forgot about the name, I'm not sure if I had it here. I'll show it later on in the, in the, next, in the next videos, alright? So um, just stay tuned and then um, I'll update for more, thank you. Alright anyway, guys, just a small update, so I'm currently um, uh, soldering it up, the battery packs that I have already completed. So majority of the packs are around 27,500 milliampers uh, until I think 27,800 milliampers. So um, I'll be grouping four packs together which are very near to its capacity. So uh, I have one here example that I've done. So I just soldered it up with uh, some copper, I don't know how but where the, this, uh, what they call this kind of part but I got this copper, copper uh, scraps from a construction yard that I work on 
Uh, yeah, so I get this one free. Yeah, it works well. All right, so let's give you an update. So I finally completed one pack. So I guess you can see here, these are four individual battery packs that I grouped together as one. So this comes out as uh, so. Uh, hello, guys. So uh, what I have here is four individual battery packs that I grouped together as one. So this is considered as a 16 volt battery pack now. Um, yeah, so this is how it looks like done. So what I did is um, just put some soup, just put some uh, glue gun glue inside there just to help it stick and then wrap it out around with um, duct tape to hold it in place. And later on, I'll try to see if I can find uh, like a bag or a case I can put this on. Then, yeah. So basically, I'm gonna be doing like four of these. Okay, four pieces of this that will make entirely a 64 volt battery pack that I want. Okay. So hello guys. So uh, just an update. Okay, so I've almost completed from, okay, there will be three stages what I'm about to show you. I have this um, battery pack which I haven't covered. Uh, battery pack that I've covered on the rough edges. And then the finished one that I just finished, completed a while ago. So yeah, this is an illustration board I put on top of the battery and on the bottom as well. Just to protect, just to protect the solder, solder points. Okay. Okay. So let's get back to the first one. So as you can see here, this is a 4S or a 16 volt battery pack that I made. Um, as you, you may notice that I have some thin wires here. I'll explain those later. So basically, what I did is uh, this is the positive side. This is the negative, negative side, positive side, negative side. Okay, for you to make a series of a battery, you need to connect the positive, or let's say, the positive side of this battery going to the negative. That creates an 8 volt battery. Then when you connect this positive side to this negative side, you create a 12 volt battery. And then the last thing is when you connect this positive side going to this negative side, you create a 16 volt battery pack. So that's how you make a series of a battery. Now with this, I was able to create a 16 volt battery pack. Now um, the other side, you'll see that I have a wire coming out from the positive side and then one wire coming out from the negative side okay. to test the theory test the theory that it's working on 16 volts let me turn on my voltmeter there and then I'll show you okay so this is the positive side and this is the negative side okay so you're getting 16.6 .6. okay so that's as you can see, as you can see, it's already at 16.6 .6 volts, exactly what I wanted. Now, earlier you saw some white cables, thin white cables are coming out from the battery pack. Um, the purpose of that, since I'm not going to be using any BMS for this battery pack, I'll be manually um, balancing the battery using an IMAX B6. Um, I'll show you later on okay so for this battery pack I have five leads okay one is a negative and then five positives so earlier I, I show you this part here this is the negative terminal this is the positive terminal so from that side I know that this is the negative side so 
we just need to mark it down here that this is the negative side and then this is the positive of that battery and then this go and here's the positive for the 8 volts the positive for the 12 volts and then the positive for the 16 volts now how to put this balance leads is you start from the negative side of the terminal okay from there the opposite side opposite side you are sure that this is a four volts this is four volts okay and then once once you make a series you connect this positive side to this negative side and then this becomes eight volts so this is your eight volts from here and then once you make a series positive to negative this becomes the 12 volts and then so on this is going to be the 16 volts so what i did what you need to do is you put the negative terminal negative balance lead on the negative side of the battery and then you put the second one put the second one to the 4 volts the third one to the 6 to the 8 volt third one would be uh, the fourth one would be on the 12 volts and then the other one would be from the 16 volts now to measure this if it's correct you're gonna, gonna you're gonna need a multimeter again so with this multimeter you'll test all the balance balance leads so okay so this is the negative side all right just let me okay so, be careful not to short this out this is already this is four volts and still we're gonna make a spark so this is okay make a mis made a mistake there this is the negative side sorry this is the negative this is the neg negative part so you put the negative there and then you just measure this first second one so you get 4.1 should be around 4.2 next one should be 8 volts okay third one or the fourth one I mean is the 12 volts and then the last one is the 16 volts so from here you are able to know that this thing is correctly wired now how am I gonna how am I gonna connect all these four packs so I could balance them what I use is this balance charger plate so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this one here there are actually six six uh, slots I could put in to this um, ba balance charging plate so I have four so I'm gonna put it here one two three and four so that's it and then once you want to balance this you just need to connect this other end to the IMAX B6 and then from there you just need to select the mode for balancing and it will show four packs or four yeah four battery packs that you can charge okay so I'm just gonna stop from here and then I'll give you an update later on okay just a small update uh, actually it's a big update so I've already completed the wrapping this bat this four packs in uh, what do you call this in shrink wrap so I've already uh, organized them as, as it is so I have this balance lead connected to those 4S batteries I have and connect them to my um, balance charger plate just connecting to my Live Pro balance charger so from IMAX it's actually an imitation of it but it, it works okay so uh, we'll turn it on and then uh, we'll see what happens next Right, so it's right. Yeah. Well, actually, the power supply. I have a 12 volt power supply, five am five amperes power supply, uh, 12 volts, and I hook it up to a 220 uh, 
fan that I have here just to cool everything while everything is well. The, the IMAX is charging. Let's see if I can, I can see that. Okay, so we'll just have to select the pro battery type. So I'm selecting um, LiPo. Okay. Just have to select what type balance charging. Okay, so this is what we need to do. Hit OK. Okay, we need to charge it by 5 amps. Since we have a power supply of 5 amps, so we can maximize this one to 5 amps. Okay, we have 4S, which is total of 14 volts. Okay, press and hold the start button. Okay, so I've already completed the pack. Um, I wrap it around with the shrink wrap. It's a big one I found. It costs a lot, of, costs a lot but uh, it's worth it. Okay. So I have four packs here. Okay. I extended the wire for the uh, for the charging so that it could reach out here. At the same time, I can plug in the balance leads. Okay, so we'll do a test and then we'll see if my IMAX B6 will be able to detect all of these four batteries and then balance them. Um, what I have here is the balance charging plate. It's like an extension. I have the IMAX B6. It's a uh, imitation, China made. And I have a 12 volt, uh, 12 volt 5 amper power supply and a 220 volt uh, fan just to cool down all the electronics here while it's charging okay let's give it a try uh, first we'll connect these wires to the balance board so i can get this camera Take two. Okay, so I have the balance board here. I just have to connect all of these wires. Um, let's say this is the first pack, second pack, third pack, and then the fourth pack. Okay, I need to connect this. Okay, I guess it's not long enough. Okay, I'll just put it sideways. Then we we'll just put this one here. So four S. So you, it does tell you which one or which uh, plug you need to plug in of which uh, how many battery in series you have like 4s 5s 6s okay so we have a 4s 16 volts so plug in the 4s okay and then this plug into the first plug here okay and then the second one here Okay, just hope we can see it. Okay, should have made a lot longer balance lead cables. Anyways. Okay, it's two. Just need to put this part here. It's a lot difficult. Okay. Put I'll just put this first. Don't really go get on with it.
take three. Okay, I just made some minor changes with the spaces because it won't reach. So, uh, so this is the first one. I'll plug it in here. Okay, second one goes to this side. Oops. balance leads are connected now just need to put in this main connectors okay that's the second one that's of course that's the first one and then the second one okay there you go third one board has been connected so we just have to connect this one to this okay so this will supply this will be for the power coming from the IMAX V6 to supply the power for charging okay and this is for the balance board we're balancing the battery okay Let's turn on the power immediately you will hear the fan turn on so keep things cool okay now the IMAX B6 you just have to select light bulb so you have to select light bulb battery Start look for light bulb balance okay. so like how many hours so my power supply is capable of giving out 5 amps so I'm going to be selecting 5 amps since this is a big pack, a big pack. and then our series yeah, for us we have 14 volts 14.8 volts right say 0 14.8 but it will charge until 16 so Let's see what happens. which is 4.2 that he starts and the charger stops charging. okay so this is basically how I did uh, creating my battery pack for my e-bike so hopefully uh, you'll stay tuned for the battery installation in my bike in my e-bike once the motor comes arrive I'll Give it up there. Thanks for watching.